What's up YouTube, James MTG Biggie here, and today I'm going a little bit old school. I'm filming from my iPhone um, because I didn't bring any equipment or camera or tripods with me, and I'm filming from work on a Sunday. Uh, those who have followed the channel for a while have probably seen some videos like this, although now it's in my new shop, but um, so that's what you're seeing behind me. But today I wanted to make a video about standard and why I can't just get into standard lately. Um, it's been really difficult for me to play standard and enjoy myself and consider building decks and going and taking time to play in standard events and tournaments and stuff like that. And I think the reason is once you play a format like Modern or Legacy or even if you get into Popper or Commander and you kind of adopt these older formats with more options as far as what you can and cannot do, um, it's hard to go back. It's hard to really have the drive to play a format like Standard that was pretty horrible up until recent times. I know currently standard is pretty decent. It's diverse, there's options for decks, there's things you can do, different archetypes that you can play and be competitive. I understand that, but when I play modern or I play legacy, I play decks that I love. Like I really enjoy playing. I play decks that I have fun with the, um, the play style of. And I have fun with the interaction. The interaction is more complicated generally. Although I think current standard has a lot of complicated lines of play and interaction and stuff like that. And um, is a little more diverse than it has been. I just think modern and legacy especially offer a lot more in terms of interactions and play styles and archetypes and options and stuff like that. Um... There hasn't been a deck in Standard in a while that I've really been drawn to. The last one is probably in the uh, Tarkir block with like Magic Origins and stuff like that, which was Jeskai and Jeskai Tempo. Um, I played a lot of Mantis Riders and Soulfire Grandmasters and Baby Jaces, and um, I really enjoyed that deck and really enjoyed that era. It helps me if there's a deck that I like a lot, that I have fun with, and that I enjoy, and that fits my play style, or fits what I like to do, even if it comes about because there's some sort of card I really like, or some sort of um, interactions or play style that I really enjoy. And right now, there's just not that for me. Um, specifically with the Jeskai deck, I really love the card Mantis Rider, and I really like Soulfire Grandmaster and that tempo play style where you can get insanely ahead just by swinging in with 3-3 three, three Haste Flyers. Um, and then like slow down their tempo, and it allowed, that deck allowed you to pivot between aggro and control really well, which I always enjoy. Playing Death and Taxes, I you know, in other formats, that sort of feeling of being able to go on the aggressive or slow down and control the pace of the game is always the sort of game I want to play. I like playing interactive magic, and that deck had a lot of interaction. Um, it's what attracts me to certain decks and formats. And right now, there's interaction, and there's decks that are out that are different and diverse, but nothing really catches my eye. There's no sort of creatures or cards or um, interaction or anything specific that I like about the format. Like, there are good decks and powerful decks and stuff, and, like, I get it. It's diverse, but there's just nothing to draw me in when I could just play Modern or Legacy. I'm not grinding out PPTQs. I'm not trying to get to the top of my game. Because I don't have the time to. So I don't need to play standard. Also, the shops around me locally, if I want to go play standard, I have to travel further or figure out my days off differently and adjust my schedule around it. Where I could just readily play modern on my days off locally. So the um, 
and the fact that Standard hasn't really done a lot to draw me in lately, and the fact that while I enjoy playing any Magic, Standard right now is like my least favorite format, makes it difficult, but I'll get back at it one day. I am sure, um, I think Exelon coming out and the rotation of the Shadows and Zen uh, Battle for Zendikar block will help a lot. I think seeing a format without Gideon and without the Eldrazi and stuff like that may help a bit, may, um, may allow me to take a fresh look at it. It's just been hard because the only fresh look at Standard that we've really had it was the last few months with Zombies and then the Mono Red deck and stuff like that. And aside from that, it's still a bunch of cards that have been around in the format for like over a year, year and a half. And it's just getting to the end of it, like where it's getting really boring and really unfun to see these cards over and over again. And it's like, yes, there's another Gideon. Yes, there's a Spell Queller. Yes, there's a Thought Not Seer, even though those cards aren't that prevalent right at this moment. But I've been looking at those cards for so long, it's just kind of boring. Um, I think Ixalan having an interesting theme in general as far as the story goes will help. Um, the creature types of dinosaurs and pirates and seeing Merfolk come back and stuff like that is exciting to me. Um, so I think a fresh start with Standard may be what I'm looking to do. Um, right now I don't want to put the effort and time into building decks and learning the format and all that sort of stuff if I'm going to maybe go to one or two local Standard tournaments. There's not like a Regionals or a GP coming up. If I had like a reason or a bigger tournament to go to, I would totally play Standard. But why force myself to do something that I would have to make a bigger effort to do when I could just play Modern or Legacy and um, have fun with the formats that I like better. That being said, I do want to still make standard content because honestly like it does really well on this channel and people seem to like the uh, the brews and the builds and the deck lists and deck decks and stuff that I make and I just don't want to put out bad deck lists and bad decks. And I know the standard format, while there are a lot of decks, all the decks have generally been discovered. So there's nothing that I can build or put out that hasn't been tried, perfected, or done better by somebody else elsewhere. So I'm going to wait until Ixalan. I'm going to wait until I have a chance to, um, to play with some new toys, build some decks with some new cards, and piece together something fresh and exciting and new and hopefully the rotation helps standard become more appealing to me i know people are really loving standard right now and really enjoying that format and i'm super happy that it's not stuck in the same sort of funk that it was in with aetherworks marvel and smugglers copters and um cat copycat combo and all that shit so that's all I've got for today. I just thought I would put out a quick video. Um, felt like making something, and all I can think of right now is how much I don't want to play Standard. Um, outside of that, I've been playing some Modern, some Legacy, um, trying to keep the dream going with Death and Taxes. Uh, deck's still very good. I still have a lot of fun playing it. I like that deck in every format possible. So, that's all I've got. Any um, questions, comments, concerns, anything like that, advice on getting me back in the standard, please comment down below and let me know. Um, also, I'll link a couple videos here and here. And you can click on my face up here somewhere and subscribe to this channel. Um, I make videos fairly often. I have a good group of people here in the comments section that are always awesome and have great conversation and i look to keep that up so definitely subscribe and i will talk to you guys again soon